This is a day that the Lord has made. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa. And as you can tell from the title, this is basically day two from my Monday video talking about pains. And if you're new here, I got these at Dollar Tree and I like to wear them when I get ready. <laughs> okay, so where do we begin? Where do we begin? I'm going to begin with my rose witch hazel toner because again it's been a while since I washed my face for the day and had nothing else put onto my face uh, so I want to continue talking about my pain <laughs> because I'm wondering if this is related to getting an epidural shot when I was pregnant with my son and I will get there a little bit sooner later so yesterday you know I took the day off I did go I actually picked up an after school snack meal whatever you want to call it and took it to my son like I said I was going to my son's school I didn't actually pick him up because he stayed for the after school tutoring program which is part of the football team plan like the football team has to go to the after school tutoring And then he did find a ride home and then I took him to practice football practice later and then he found a ride back home and thankfully my pain was not too bad on that ride in the afternoon on that drive and it seemed it seemed to be fine, my pain level. It was decent, it was manageable. And I went to, took a, the prescribed medicine, medication that I had received from Teladoc. I took that maybe an hour before I went to bed, basically before I started brushing my teeth and, and showering and all that. Well, as soon as I lay down for bed, there was pain. And the pain, it was like in my hip area, lower back hip area. No matter what position I got into, if I was on my stomach, on my back, on my left side, on my right side. At some point, I felt comfortable enough to fall asleep. Then I woke up. And then I think I shifted myself into a different position and fell asleep and I woke up to the absolute worst pain that I've had all week there was nothing I could do I couldn't take more medicine because I had or it had not been enough time to take more medicine and I didn't want to mess with that it it hurt to sit up it hurt to stand up whereas before it was just hurting to sit down and I could manage myself getting up but it, it, there was just pain everywhere I was trying to stretch out like I would put up my right foot on the ground and stretch towards it with my left leg behind me and I'd switch off that gave me a little little tiny bit of relief there was just absolutely nothing giving me relief. And I was sitting there on the ground crying. It was that bad. But that's how it was Sunday morning too. When I decided to call Teladoc. Except this morning was worse. Much worse than Sunday. Where Sunday had been the worst it had been uh, up until today. And I am a Christian woman. And I try my best to stay away from medication. 
So I was praying, uh, this isn't funny, but I was praying, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this pain. I said that over and over and over. I got up, walked around, because normally walking around would help. It was still painful. I grabbed the new ice pack, put it on my back, kept walking around, kept saying that. And finally, I was like, Lord, if this is what you want, then please give me the strength to get through this, like physical strength. Because this time, the pain started on my right hip, low back area. But it, now it was together with the left side. They were like equal. And then my right leg started to feel pain. The top of my right leg. And then over here on the left side, it seemed like the pain was also traveling to my heart. It almost felt like my heart was just contracting and it was so hard to breathe I was sweating bad and I was so weak because I wasn't getting I guess enough oxygen that started at like 2 in the morning when I finally decided to really pray on it and try to get through it just get out of bed and do that and by four it was almost four o'clock in the morning i was like I, lord i can't do this i can't i can't do this i was crying and crying <laughs> i was thinking this is worse than childbirth because at least when i had my son i knew the pain was going to be over you know as soon as i delivered I didn't know when this pain would ever end. I guess it just had me so worried. I was thinking, what if I have kidney stones? What if there is something? Because my mother passed away from pancreatic cancer. And it was like, she had a few symptoms that showed up, but the doctor didn't know what it was. And then finally... It was probably the third doctor visit. They realized it was cancer. More or less, they realized it. They were treating it as cancer. And it was, she needed emergency surgery to have temporary relief, like immediate temporary relief. And that just flashed to my mind. And I, I made a video for my son that's how bad it was. I I guess I understand people who are addicted to pain medicine now. I have sympathy for them. And where, before I did it. But I did not. I was very tempted to try my over-the-counter medicines. And I was down to one Tylenol. And I was like, no. When I realized I only had one Tylenol left, it was not going to make a difference. And so I had them in my mouth and then I took them out. <laughs> I know that's gross. And I was just thinking, okay, Lord, I can move, but it just feel, felt debilitating. Is that a word? Where I did feel like I didn't want to move anymore because... It was painful to sit, it was to do anything. It was painful just to sit, be still. It was painful to walk. And I finally, I, I got up, I started packing a bag to go to the hospital because I was thinking I cannot wait until an urgent care opens. And then urgent cares are like, I don't know where you live, about where you live at, but here you have to do appointments for urgent care online, which is a pain. Someone who needs emergency help is not trying to make an appointment. I was trying to search up things on my phone and I couldn't, like I was in so much pain, I, I couldn't even 
touch the right button and then when I did touch the right button it's like I couldn't even speak right because I was doing voice commands or whatever I couldn't even speak it and I'm like oh. y'all I'm so thankful I still have my son at home but I'm praying that the Lord sends me a husband <laughs> because I can't imagine going through what I went through by myself Mm -mm. I mean, I could have called the ambulance, but the ambulance is so expensive. It's like one thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, even with insurance. And I guess if you really need it, you need it. So I was packing my bag, and I had everything on my bed. I wore this. I'm still wearing it because I haven't done anything. And it's like a dress. But it could come off as a pajama top to someone else. I didn't even have time to put like shorts underneath. And, and I do like to go around with shorts under my dresses and skirts. This is really long though. It does go past my knee and almost to my ankles. So I was okay. And then I grabbed my light. Um, what do you call it? my light over robe yeah i grabbed that what am i doing here and put that over and i put my hair in a clip i didn't have no makeup no jewelry i don't even think i put deodorant on like i didn't freshen my my smells up and I called my son and I'm surprised that he answered at almost four in the morning because the kid is such a deep sleeper. I told myself, if he doesn't answer, Lord, I'll get through this. If he does answer, then I'm going to have him take me to <laughs> the uh, hospital emergency because that's the only thing I knew that was open. <clears throat> So, he took me, he grabbed my stuff, he had to help me get up because, or did he? No, I got myself up. I almost thought I could not sit up from my recliner because I was just too weak. I was so, so weak. But somehow I managed to get up. I was going to have him help me though, if not. And then... I told him to get all his book bags ready just in case he had to stay with me. So he got, you know, he had all his bags ready. I'm thankful that my son was able to drive me because it was a mm, 20 minute drive, maybe 20, 25 minutes out of town. And I told him, I was like, son, you can miss a few classes this morning it, so you can catch up on sleep if you want. And I'm proud of my son. He's like, no, mom, I gotta get to school. He did ask me, do you need me to stay? Do you want me to stay? I said, no, son, I'm here. I got, you know, I'll get the help I need. And so when he got home, he texted me. And then right before he was going to school, he texted me. Because usually the kid, I got to keep on him to get up and ready for school. But he got it all on his own. Uh, and then he was... Oh, okay. So... I explained to them, I, you know, since Wednesday, what's been going on and up until today. And they gave me a shot on either arm because I needed immediate relief. <laughs> I was not going to mess around with a pill. And they were going to give me a lidocaine patch in the hospital. And at that point, things were kicking in. Like, I think the my college doctor medicine was kicking in at that point 
something was kicking in because I, I did, I did, at, at about three o'clock, I did take my over the doctor medicine. Yeah, I forgot I did. When I found out I only had one Tylenol, I was like, never mind, let me just take another medicine. And I think it was finally starting to kick in once I was at the hospital. It was still like very painful to get up and down. I was embarrassed. I was just walking back and forth in the lobby. And they did take me to get x-rays. And I was so embarrassed because I, they wanted one on my back and one on my side. And it was so hard <laughs> to get in those positions. But I did it. And then they put me in a back in a recliner in the back area, in the emergency area. And then they put me into a little private room, I guess, where they put everybody when they do the shots and stuff. And the doctor was like, how did this happen? And I was like, I don't know, I just woke up Wednesday feeling bad. He's like, no, something, something happened. He's like, it could have been days before. It didn't have to be like right that day. And the only thing I could think of, y'all, <laughs> is me decorating for fall, clean, doing some yard work, doing, working on my backyard project that I'm not ready to say exactly what it is, but it's labor, it's intensive work. And I, I was like, yeah, I've been doing yard work. I've been going up and down the ladder, the stair step stool to do my decorations and then I forgot a week before that I had fell I'm gonna show you it's gonna be a blooper on one of my Saturday cleaning videos <laughs> I forgot about it until I was back home but he's like yeah it there's the x-ray he's like it showed degenerative stuff and I'm like when he said degenerative I'm like he's like no it's normal it's normal degenerative arthritis in your tailbone he's like that's normal and I'm like okay he's like we didn't see anything else everything's fine so it's just got to be this muscle relaxer that you need where's my phone I thought I brought my phone in here I've been looking at my videos and I need to lose weight for one, but also I know that doing the gua sha massage helps to tighten this area. So I need to get back on this and do it every morning. <sighs> but y'all, I can sit here because I have the new medicine and not, I don't feel the pain. And yesterday it was like, right into two after two minutes in i was already feeling the pain from sitting down so it's working thank you lord and i have a plan of how i'm going to use my medicine because i really do need to get back to work there's important stuff happening unusual one time unique things happening I'm not gonna stress about it till tomorrow, but I do have a plan for my medication so that I'm not feeling drowsy on the road and things like that. Like I have a plan. So anyhow, I was in there at four o'clock in the morning. They discharged me by eight o'clock. And I'm thinking, who can I call to take me home? <laughs> Cause I got dropped off. There was no way I was going to drive myself there. I'm glad I got dropped off. And I was thinking of different possible people to call. I'm like, no. And so then I have the Lyft app. When I lived in Mesa Tempe area of Arizona, I used the Lyft a lot. Because everything was close and parking was difficult to find it's a lot of places. So I pulled up my Lyft app and I was like, 
I don't think they have it in my area right now because we're smaller cities. But there was about five cars driving around, apparently four to five cars in the area. So I did find, I did order one lift. Sorry, I'm tired. I slept a little bit when I came back home. But then I woke up to go get my medicine and I wanted to make sure I had it. <laughs> there was, um, I did order a lift that came right away. I could not sit in his car. It was a Chevy Malibu. It was, it looked like a newer one, but in the back seat, I was like, my head was this much sticking out. And I'm like, my back is hurting, sir. I cannot get in this car. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cancel this lift. And he's like, you can't get in? I said, no. I was like, I can cancel the trip, right? He goes, yes. I was like, okay, thank you. Because when I ordered it, it said it's comfortable. It was not comfortable. And then the next one was a Toyota Camry. And I'm thinking, I would imagine it's similar shaped to the Malibu. So I canceled it. And then I ordered the XL and I was going to pay more. I was going to end up paying almost $20 more for the XL. The XL was, it was not around. It wasn't available. And so then I was like, oh, Vanessa, forget it. Just take the next one, the affordable one. So then I got into a Nissan Sentra, which is smaller than the Camry and smaller than the Malibu. But I think at that point, because that was about 30 minutes later, the medicine was kicking in more. So I was able to have more flexibility. I got a little bit caught and I had my hair in a bun. So my, I got just a little tiny bit caught. But I got in and um, it was a $20 ride to get home. <laughs> That's not bad. I was thinking it was going to cost more. But it is only maybe... 19 20 miles no probably less than that so that was exciting i've never used a lift where i live at now lift was normal in the big city tempe mesa area but never here so that was the first today went to Walgreens, picked up my items and I allowed my son to drive to school. I'm not going to talk about that situation. <laughs> Just know that I took away his driving privileges last week. But today, because I normally would drop him off to school. I can do that. Even on my office days, I can always drop him off at school. And he's able to get rides and, and do what he needs from there. So... I let him drive, but I gave him very specific instructions, and I think he's following them. I hope he's following them, but I'm so drowsy right now. I'm, I'm going to go take him food. Prob that might be him texting me. I probably will be dropping him off another after school snack slash meal while he goes into his tutoring they have like a 25 minute break between after school and tutoring and i don't want him driving around this was the problem last week i don't want him driving around in that time frame because he's feeling rushed it's busy you know everybody's trying to go home it's really busy kids want rides to get home whatever and it just caused too much problem. <laughs> so I said, you stay at school. If you want food, take your lunch or I will drop it off if I'm in the area. And then he's been able to get a ride after. But yeah, y'all. Oh, when I was driving home, having a good conversation with my Lyft driver, she was saying, did you get an epidural when you were pregnant? I was like, yes. She's like, that's probably what, you know, is contributing to your back pain. 
she's studying to be an EMT. And I was like, you know what? That's what my mom said. Because I get this pain every few years. And I was like, but it feels, this is the worst it's ever been. It's like when I, as I get older, this pain is just getting worse. She's like, yeah, I get the same thing. <laughs> so I don't know. Do you guys think I have this lower back pain due to an epidural? <sighs> it, it was bad. I have a high pain tolerance, but now as I'm getting older, I, I can't take too much. As much as I used to, I should say. It's probably still high, but not nearly as high as it was when I was younger. Alright, y'all. I just wanted to make a little video, chat with you all, because y'all are my friends. I haven't, The only person that knows is my son. <laughs> no and obviously the driver and whoever was working but nobody else knows and now y'all do so they gave me um a cortisone pill which i plan to take that only in the mornings they gave me the muscle relaxer which i plan to take that tonight and my plan is i'll drive to work and then once I get to work, I'm going to take the muscle relaxer if I need it. And then they, they also had lidocaine patches. For 10 of them at 6%, it was going to co cost me $30 through the pharmacy. And I researched, I'm like, I really, I might need the, that when I'm trying to sleep. That would come in handy. But I don't think I'm going to need all 10, so why pay $30? So I did research, and Walgreens over the counter, they sell five to six of them, depending on, they have different strengths. And they're at the 4% for only $10. So I only got me one box of five for $10, instead of paying 30 for 10. Yeah, that's what was prescribed to me and they gave me pills and they gave me two shots. They also wanted to do the lidocaine patch in the hospital and I was like, no, keep that. Do not charge me for that. Because at that point, I didn't think I was going to need it. It would be a waste. All right, y'all. Hopefully things go back to normal tomorrow and I can... Hopefully things go get back to normal tomorrow and I can enjoy the fall and go outside and enjoy the sun and take a walk in the sun because I'm redoing my backyard. So I'm able to take a walk again out there and enjoy tidy up every day. And I might just do a video to show you guys what things look like right now while I couldn't tidy up. And then after that, just always keep things tidy. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope this was informative for somebody. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Please comment. Remember today is what you make of it. I love you, and I'll see you next time.